Hey everybody, I'm going to be altering this memory hardware album from Prima. I have all of these supplies listed down below, so be sure to check it out in the description box below. And you saw Abby's little hands. She just wanted to say hi really quickly. The kids are on summer break, so they will be here while I do all of my videos. Um, and I'm going to start off by adding black gesso to the album. And I do uh, two coats of gesso. I don't show the whole um, process, but I just wanted to give you the idea that you cover your project with a black gesso just to have the base of the black. Uh, you can use black acrylic paint. I personally like the black gesso. I feel it covers better and especially the Prima uh, black gesso, it's just very thick and uh, technically I probably didn't need two coats because it does cover it really nicely uh, but I just like to do uh, two coats just to be sure so I do the front the back and then I do some um, like the outer edges of the pages I'm going to add um, some photos to this album um, sometime probably in the future so that's why I did that just so that it's done and now I'm going to take this Tim Holtz stencil and this uh, the light and fluffy modeling paste from the crafters workshop and if you didn't see my last video I um, talk about this and I absolutely love this it I have used the light paste from Prima for a long long time uh, and I prefer it over the modeling paste but now this is my new favorite product the for using you know paste wise um, it's just it's a mix between modeling paste and light paste and it's just very fluffy and I don't know it's really nice it's hard to really explain exactly <laughs> um, but it is really nice and I was worried that they did not carry a bigger container because I did only find the two ounce uh, but I did find an eight ounce on Amazon and somebody had mentioned that uh, they believe they saw um, a bigger container on Simon Says Stamp so I'm definitely gonna have to get a bigger container because I'm going to be using this stuff um, a lot so I'm just uh, kinda lining it up just to have that texture in the back um, for the book and I should have done it on the side of the album, but I didn't think about that at this particular time. So um, I just left the side of the album blank for now. Um, and then after that dries, and it does really dry very quickly, and which makes me happy because I'm very impatient. And I am adding a coat of uh, bl the black gesso. And I was uh, surprised to see that this held up really well. Sometimes when I use the light paste, it um, kind of when it gets when the light paste gets wet, it just um, kind of spreads around with the gesso. This did uh, held up really well, so that was nice to see. So after that dries, I am now going to start adding all of my embellishments. These are just random things that I have in my stash. Just I have a few different jars and containers that I just put extra things in. Um, and then that's what I um, wanted to pull out just to have some um, just random things. Not really uh, anything special. Uh, just you want to try to find things that are going to add texture and interest to your project and it doesn't matter really what color it is or anything like that because you're going to add the black gesso to it anyways so again I'm just layering up all of those pieces and um, I'm just going to continue to do that if you are wanting a more in-depth uh, video on how to do these types of projects, I do have quite a few videos on my channel, so you could either search on my channel or I will try to link up a playlist in the upper right hand corner for you. Um, and I do have a video on the different types of art uh, alchemy wax and um, what happens when you use them on dark surfaces versus light surfaces so I do again have quite a few uh, different videos on these types of projects and uh, the art alchemy wax 
So once I have all of my embellishments down and they are semi-dry, again, I'm very impatient, so I did not want to wait around till they were completely dry. Uh, I am adding a coat of black gesso and I'm going to add two coats of gesso and that way I know that everything is nice and covered. And if you are um, thinking ahead, you will add your gesso in layers instead of putting it all on all of the embellishments on first and then adding the gesso if that makes sense. So what I should have done is added a couple embellishments or painted them before I had put them on. That way I'm not trying I'm not struggling trying to get in all of those nooks and crannies and um, things like that to get um, the metal to not show and the color to not show. So there is a better way to do this um, than what I'm showing you here. So uh, here I just added everything and then now I'm painting it but again there you know I wasn't thinking ahead I was just doing my project <laughs> uh, anyway so I um, cover it all with the black gesso and then after that dries you want to make sure that it's completely dry and now I am adding the art alchemy wax I am uh, using a um, the rose gold metallic wax and I am lightly brushing it on it does seem like I'm you know heavy-handed but I'm very lightly brushing it on this stuff goes a long way and I love it and just I love how it's almost like magic it's just when you add it to your project it just is so pretty especially with the uh, black gesso and I'm just going to continue to add it and like I said I'm just lightly brushing it on and you could see that I dip it in the wax my brush in the wax and then I kind of um, brush it off on the lid that way I don't have like a you know like a huge chunk of it on the brush and I do use the same brush for all of my waxes um, I you know I just try to clean it off as best as I can after each time or each uh, different color I use but um, I just use the same one for each um, for all the waxes so I'm just going to continue to do this and I will be back shortly So you could see it coming together and you could definitely do a light a way lighter hand than I did or even use your finger just to get the raised areas uh, if you want it not to be so covered with the uh, uh, wax um, but I was going for a more covered project this time and now I'm going in with a little bit of the bronze age just to give it a little variation of color and I do use a tiny bit of brushed iron, I believe it is, just to highlight just a little bit more because I wanted that butterfly to stand out a little bit. Um, and that, again, is um, basically it. It's so easy to use this product uh, and it just, they last forever. I've had mine for quite some time and I use them a lot. So that's going to complete my project for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Here's a look, a closer look at the book. And uh, if I do end up putting photos in it, I will share the finished product project when I'm done. Uh, and here is a couple more videos you might enjoy. Please leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And again, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.